I glitched here, so GG. Let me see if I can uh, fix this. This is this is fantastic. This is this is awesome. I don't know what happened here. Hey guys, what's going on? Rounded Tic Tac here, and to be honest, I've been trying to make this video for days now. Something keeps coming up. My internet is still kind of wonky, uh, still working on getting that fixed, but we're going to attempt to do it today. So we are looking at a new series. This is going to be a beginner slash intermediate guide uh, on how to play Save the World. Basically, I keep getting comments on this that they people want to stop seeing clips in the videos and to actually show the full gameplay. So I'm going to do that in a new series and going to teach you along the way exactly what I'm doing in each mission and why I'm doing it and hopefully you'll learn something and you know you'll get some tips and tricks along the way because uh, there's going to be a, a very basic thing just Fortnite is very basic in itself but there's always a few things that you can change or do to make the mission a little easier or for you to be more efficient now we're going to do my favorite mission in the game and that is going to be retrieve the data that's going to be the first one in this series we are taking with us a constructor. This is the loadout I'm currently using. Uh, Mega base, lofty architecture, uh, lecture five floors, base MD, frozen castle, and power modulation. We're going to change this to tough traps and or supercharged traps and call it a day. Now, I'm going to attempt to get somebody in this mission with me, but even if I cannot, I'm going to do my best to solo it. And it's not a joke of a mission. Uh, it is a four man, 124, retrieve the data. So it goes for all retrieve the data missions but I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it uh, and hopefully it goes well and then we're going to show the whole gameplay of me either failing or me either succeeding in this mission so let's jump right into it this is the first one retrieve the data 101 all right so we're fresh loaded in here uh we're gonna equip some weapons who cares really what we're using we are using a constructor as you guys know um we're going to run around here and now when you first get into a retrieve the data mission always look up once you look up you will see you can find the balloon and make your way over to it i personally like to get to the balloon as early as possible uh, try to come in with enough resources to carry me through the mission because depending on the setup sometimes you end up with a lot of time to end up farming anyway so we got lucky here with this spawn it is in the middle here and it's on an industrial map allowing us to break certain parts to basically stop them from coming this way so we're going to take out this bridge right here and get it done there we go that is all set up we're gonna go and set up our base now a lot of new players like to build around the entire box of the base you do not need to do this red this red box uh you used to not be able to walk through it you can now um, but all you really need to do is set up these little corners just like this this is the absolute main setup you will see in most uh retrieve the data missions there is a larger setup you can do here and it looks something like this uh, you can set up something like that you're we're going to put launch pads here eventually um, but this is the main setup you will see you do not need to build all across all around the red box um, this is one of the reasons I really like this mission because it's quite cheap to build on there's not a lot of there's not a lot of building that you have to do you don't have to trap it like four atlases um, this mission in itself although not a lot of people like it because of how long it takes to actually drop uh, I tend to enjoy this mission before the minimal aspect of building um, that you have to do so this is all you need to set up for in the beginning and now let's take a look exactly what we have in store for us first up we have two spawns two big spawns uh, coming both directions here you can press M open your map and see exactly where they're coming so we're going to use the terrain to the absolute best of our ability here we're going to check out the spawns see where they're coming and trap effectively now on this case in this case Case, it seems that we have gotten a little bit lucky we're going to take out this truck here and you guys are going to see there's only really one way that they might be coming let's see if we can trap it efficiently and keep it going so if you guys follow the channel you guys know about the diamond trap um, this is it and this is the trap tunnel we're going to use we are on a complete diamond spawn they cannot come around this way so they are going to be forced to come directly into this tunnel which is 
perfect for us uh, we are going to have to check up here which is going to be a bit of an issue because of the janky spawn that it's on but we'll take care of that in a minute let's first take care of this one so we're going to make our trap tunnel uh, if you follow the channel you guys should see this this is very common on my channel Um, not every spawn in the game is 100% trappable. Like this one is going to be a little tough regardless of what we do. There's not much here that allows us to kite or trap or you know set them up correctly they're going to be coming up this route right here so we're going to do our best and see if we can kite them uh directly in a line here we don't want them coming this way so we're going to place a wall here uh they are going to spawn this way so what we're going to do here is we're going to place two tiles down and one tile back this is the, this is the best setup we have here if we put it too close uh we're going to cause issues so we're end up we're going to end up having two uh one by ones or two by ones we're going to have to break this here and hopefully that's going to be enough to hold these guys out um we are out of it fantastic now we're going to drop this like this now don't be afraid to ever build um over like a canyon over something like you can you can extend the length of the tunnel uh basically as far as you want sometimes uh the bigger enemies will stop and beat up the floor and eventually break it but for the most part uh you can feel free to trap like this we're going to do the zigzag tunnel here and here and in fact just to show that let's do one of these and add these stairs right here now you can see me adding these stairs and walls behind everything uh, that's just setting up normal blockers you got to get used to that that uh, is what allows you to kite the husks wherever you want them to go so as you can see I'm setting up the zigzag tunnel here uh, did it the wrong way there we go we're going to add a couple of traps here and there and get this mission up and going now the thing about Fortnite, and something that i kind of have an issue with is that we have no idea where the second spawn is going to come from we have no clue and that kind of irritates me because there's no way in in actuality to set up the next set of trap tunnels um right here we have to be careful because we don't want them to come through so you can see me building um everything getting it ready to go uh, so yeah, we have no idea where the second uh, set of trap tunnels should go. Third set of tra trap tunnels, however many you might need for the entire mission. Uh, I believe the storm rotates up to four times. Um, we might get lucky here and not have anything rotate because of the weird spawn that we are in, but we don't know. We will see exactly how well this does. Now, something I want to talk about here. This is the best uh, setup you can set up here. Uh, you pr place these floor tiles here and you add bouncing traps down there and two on these walls as well. Uh, you're going to do the same thing once you do drop the balloon. Normally, at this point, I would like to drop the balloon, but I just want to go over a couple more things before we start we seem to have gotten lucky here uh there is a setup you can put here if you would like to um and place something like this and this would be the full setup uh rtd mission you can place one of these at all points once the balloon lands if you want to but i tend to usually not now let's take a look at a, the exact last things that they can do here we got extremely lucky not sure if this base is or if this is actually going to rotate but we will see so we do have a spawn down here that we do need to take care of double checking the side this is the only way that they possibly can get up which is very very lucky for us so we need to make one more trap tunnel uh, right over here and we should be good to go. We're going to set this up real quick just like the other ones except we're going to kite them to the left over here. Get rid of this pole super fast and set this one up. This is fully trapped up. The one person I am playing with, Potterhead, has built this over here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what he's got going on here, but let's take a look. This is using your terrain at, to your advantage. So what's going to happen here is if these husks decide to walk around here, or if the storm rotates and spawns more out here, uh, they will be forced to come this way. Uh, one thing I'm going to change on his build is I'm going to add it like this. This forces the husks to walk in a zigzag pattern instead of just straight across and then he set up a one by one kill box in here and a double kill box up top again i usually try to do this faster but i want to make sure i hit everything the last thing i'm going to uh, suggest to you guys is you add two tiles up here like so um and then 
you add defenders. If you're doing a four-man mission, you are allowed up to four defenders plus four people. So eight people total. Um, you're going to want to add uh, something, in my opinion, defenders are best with hard-hitting weapons, whether it be melee or not. So we're going to give hit her an old Betsy. And then another little trick you can do is giving somebody a weapon that drops heals, like the Ginger Blaster. So we're going to set this up, get this ready to go. Uh, we got really, really lucky on this spawn. I'm very happy about it. I'm going to shoot down this balloon. We're going to see exactly how well we did. The, the last thing I'm going to do is place my base. So somewhere where it basically is going to cover everywhere. That's why I like to play Mega Base. Um, let's see exactly how we do on this mission. Now, before I shoot this down, uh, I just want to say that if the storm did rotate, we would do our best guest estimation of exactly where it might come from. So if this was unbreakable or yeah, if I could not break this and this was a direct path, I would set up a trap tunnel this way. I would probably close off one side like this and then set up this as a trap tunnel. Now we don't need to do that here because they can't get this way, but you always have to do like a guesstimate of where they might come from. So let's drop this balloon and see exactly how well we did with our preemptive trapping. We're going to drop that down just like that and immediately we're going to set up our second set and finish up. We overbuilt here, which is no big deal. Um, uh, Potterhead's going to set that up. We have base down, so we have our super traps. We have our defenders kicking butt, taking names. We're going to just place these couple of jump pads here and be good to go. You can see the trap tunnel is working beautifully. Easy mode, this tunnel easy mode nothing too crazy going on i'm just doing this in case the storm rotates and we messed up somewhere um to see how well uh we can do it in case they have to in, in case they make it through um it'll give us a little bit more defense in case we messed up somewhere uh we have some guys coming out here no big deal though level 149 easily mode we're gonna jump in here and actually add our slow field uh, just to just to use it. Um, we're not going to need it at any time until much later when the um, mini boss comes through or we get a smasher wave and usually you don't get smashers until much later in the game uh, or in the mission. So these are all tic tac inspired trap tunnels. Um, or trap tunnels that I've covered on the channel. Uh, you can see all of them working literally perfectly uh, without any much of issue anywhere. Um, we have Potterhead and me just hanging out on the base and just watching our trap tunnels do the work. Uh, this was a good catch down here. I didn't see this at first, and I'm glad that I did. Uh, the storm is going to rotate in one minute. Let's see if we do get a rotation, or because of what the original spawn is, we might have gotten lucky and it may be stuck exactly like it is, which in that case, um, this mission is over and done with. We are starting to get some propanes. The storm did rotate. Let's see if we have to fix anything really quick here. Uh, I'm going to build up here, take a look. It looks like it rotated slightly in the same position or maybe just a little bit to the right. Uh, I think we're good on all fronts. Uh, this is getting blown up by the storm, but we're okay. No big deal. Propane over there. Don't want to bother them too much and just let them walk through. Uh, we do have an issue here. They're coming around, which they're going to attempt to either walk through or break that wall. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to stop them from doing so with something like this. Um, they can still walk this way. So one a couple more walls and we should be good to go. We don't want them coming this way. We want it to make, make it easier for them to go any way except that. Careful of the propanes in here. Uh, we do have a lobber, which I'm going to go take care of real fast. Uh, this is also a good time to talk about how important base is. Um, base on higher end missions, you almost always want a constructor, which is awesome because for me, who's somebody who likes RPGs, uh, I feel like there should always be some sort of a uh, support class. You can hear the propanes blowing up uh, in the other base or in one of the tunnels. But everything so far is going according to plan. I just want to grab this and repair it real fast. Up here, too. Uh, we do have more propanes to or some lobbers to take care of. So I'm just going to jump out here and take care of them real fast. All right. Those are dead. So currently in the game, there's no mission that a 
somewhat decent or at least an appropriate amount of traps cannot kill we do have to replace that trap right there uh, i want to get out of here because i'm pretty sure propanes are coming um and they are still getting killed in the tunnel this tunnel in fact only has two ceiling traps and it's more than enough to take down everything which is nice uh, i'm always trying to spend the minimal amount of traps in any mission and when I'm, I didn't even notice that I only put two in there, but it seems to be more than enough to take care of them. So we do have a mini boss, a mini boss decided to show up and it's one of the worst ones we could get for two manning a mission. Um, there's no way we're going to be able to kill this, but it's fine. Um, a mini boss won't never, well, if it's working properly, will never damage your actual base. He will just break all the walls around you. He's probably going to teleport back up. Um, but we don't have to worry about it because nothing's really getting through. So as long as I just place a couple of walls to stop him from coming back up so easily, uh, we should be fine. How did he get up there? The world may never know. I wasn't looking, but we are starting to uh, get some guys making it a little bit through, but nothing. No, I'm not too worried about much. Uh, we're going to upgrade these walls. The smasher is back in here. No big deal, though. Um, if this wasn't just me and my friend who went off and decided to get the achievement for um, exploring the whole map, we might be able to kill him. But for now, we're just going to leave him in here. Just don't stress about them. Uh, if that ever does happen to you, like I said, make sure to kill everything else and not really worry about them specifically. Uh, we do have a lot of propanes in here. Um, I'm pretty sure we some of the traps have died out and that's that's the issue we're running into right now but we're going to try to hold down the fort here uh we can pick up our gumdrops from what we uh from the defender with the ginger blaster works real well as you can see we are still at 100 percent taking a, a lot of damage here we did lose one file um, I did go down, but we're going to be fine. Um, our last defender holding up. I don't even know what's holding up this base. Oh, there we go. I'm going to, I'm going to pop here real fast. Um, going to build some lobber shields is because that's becoming an issue. Pick up some of these health things and we're still okay. We, we got, we got dinged one time. Our defender's down now because of this mini boss smasher, but we only have 30 seconds left. So I'm not too worried. Um, we're just going to try to do our best to hold this down. Which should be real easy like again two manning a mission. It looks like Potterhead is back. No big deal And now if you were playing with four people with four defenders uh, you could trap a little more if you'd like to um, This mission went pretty swimmingly. So that is what I do on an RTD mission My base went down as well. Didn't notice that that is what I do on an RTD mission pretty simple um, Always make sure where you're trapping and why always try to kite them into your trap tunnels if necessary Use defenders even if you're just soloing a mission just drop one or two down They are a big help as you can see all of those gumdrops and the game shouldn't be that much difficult for you you can look early and see the thing start building as soon as humanly possible you can see my score is ridiculous um, and that's all from traps I barely shot in that entire game so there you go guys retrieve the data 101 the first one in the book uh, let me know down in the comments below which one you think we should do next I'm thinking probably a bomb mission because that's where you get confused in Plankerton when you get those missions um, but let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching I'll see you on the next one let me know what you guys think about this tic tac out